Hello YouTube, Ching Eaton here with another one of my highly edited, high production value videos for you folks out there. I'd like to start out by thanking my production crew, the cameraman, Mr. Milk Crate, and my props manager, uh, Ms. Plant Stand. What we're going to be doing today is uh, a three flap graft, it's on the note here, on a little potted chestnut tree. This is my own variety of chestnuts named black satin and I'm gonna stick it on this thing here and hopefully we're gonna get a take for a nice new grafted tree. So what I'm gonna start doing here is I'm gonna line up my calipers. I'm gonna see I want the cyan wood here on the top to be just slightly larger so when I cut it and fit it that bark will wrap all the way around but not overlap itself if that makes any sense. So I'm going to use about the depth of my grafting knife as usually and it is this time. It takes two, two of the buds below and then I'm going to use these two to actually grow it. So what I'm going to do is come up and every little detail counts. So if I cut it like this, I'm putting pressure with this side on my stick. If I turn it over like this, then I get a sharp knife on my stick instead. So that's what I'm going to do there. Take that off. I'll put that back in the cooler for later. So now I've got my cyan wood here. Uh, you know, Miss Plant Stand, you're not doing your job. I'm going to uh, be removing this bud on one side, this bud on the other side. So instead of a three flap, I'm going to do a two flap because the way these buds are arranged on here, I don't have the ability to take three separate slices off. If I take this off and I take this off, which is pretty mandatory, you've got to get rid of that big hump there, then I've just got two and there's no room to put the third one, you know, equidistant around like you'd see here. So I've got this tied down here and I've wrapped it around a couple of times just to give me a start. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my stock keep my sign in the shade a little bit try to keep it cool so I've maintained that I'm going to take one knife blade length there about so I'm going to come up here and measure that up about here and that's going to be right up into that where that bud is on the stock and that works out just perfect for me so this time if I did it like that I'd be gouging that if I do it like this I'm gouging the part that I'm not going to use. So that's how I'll do that one. That's pretty brutal, pretty extreme. You take the whole top of the tree out. All right, now I need to put my two slices in this tree, and I'm going to pick on the spots that have a bud on them so that that isn't there to try to force underneath the graft after I get it worked. You cut through that bud, it's pretty much done. So what I'm going to do is come in here, straight down into that bud, drop it down, push it in until I can feel it go through the bark into the wood. Sometimes you have to come up, give it a slice as well, just to make sure. Alrighty that one come around the other side there's another bud over there Go right down the middle of him press that into the bark I can hear it click that time that's based on the uh, angle of the wood there all right so I've got that pre-cut now I'm gonna make the banana action the clipping action and then I need to start wrapping it so right here I haven't exposed any tissue the sun or the wind yet I'm going to do it quickly I'm going to insert it and wrap it so what I'm going to do is I'll start down on this side I know that I want to go up to about here just uh, you know a quarter inch short of that bud so this one I'll go about like that take that big bud off of there strip that nice and clean Try to get an even smooth cut on that. Flip it over to the other side. I'm not 
touching that. I don't want my oils on that cut. I'm going to stick this in my mouth to shelter it just for a second, and then I'm going to do my attaching. It's always easier when you're not on camera, isn't it? available. When is the next filming coming up? Oh yeah. Alright, so we're going to wrap that baby up there. Get her sealed off from the air. The first one I'm not going to go very tight. I'm just trying to get it sealed up from the air. On the way back down, and I'll cinch her up tighter. Now, just judging by my clumsiness on that, I probably don't deserve this one to take, but sometimes maybe your own standards are a little high and it'll, it'll just allow you to do it anyway. Normally I don't like to see it take that long to get it inserted. So we're going to just tie this back. Go up, go down, tie it back off against itself. A little stub that you left on there. Okay. Now, if you had this in a greenhouse, you might just be able to set it up on the bench and you'd be done. Because your conditions are pretty controlled. Well, here I'm out in the weather, so I need to try to protect it as much as I can from the elements. I'm going to stick a little piece of tin foil on it to reflect light and heat. And let's see, we'll go down. I'm going to try to cover as much of that as I can all the way down to the soil. That'll keep any buds from trying to sprout that might be down low. So I can come all the way up to here. Okay. I'm just going to wrap that around there. and That'll also give it a little bit of strength. Wrapped up like that. Maybe try to squeeze it a little bit. Yeah. I've got a baggie, and I just snipped the snip the corner out of it there like that, and that's going to allow me to slip that down over there and pass it through. And I don't want it to go really any further than past the bottom of that bud because I want to seal that bag off try to wrap this around my fingers and get it pre-tied so I'm not fumbling with it on the tree get that little loop tied into it bring it down there and cinch it up against that plastic bag and then maybe slightly lift it up right like that so now I got a good watertight seal in case it rains tonight you know my big fat fumble fingers, it's kind of hard to work these small pieces of tape. And like that. And I'll try to keep my neat my work neat, so I'll clean that up. And then I'm just gonna somehow wrap all this plastic down around there. And that's gonna help with moisture loss. Those are your two big problems, heat and drying. So this time. I'm going to wrap her around there twice to try to gather up a little bit of that stuff. And it don't have to be pretty. It just needs to work. So I'm going to do this seven times today. And I hope I get, you know, 80% of them to go ahead and take. It's pretty much a, get, you know, winter takes all thing. It either lives or it's going to be sprouting out like it was a brand new baby from the ground. So... You, uh, you just got the one shot at it if you're doing work like this. But this thing is not going to 
cooperate, of course, because I'm trying to talk. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. All right. So after that, I've got the foil for reflective. I've got the plastic. And I'm just going to come back with a little Elmer's glue and put a little scab on that open cut. And yeah, if it rains, it'll soften up a little bit, but it won't completely wash off. So now I've got a little scab on there. All these are sealed off. It should be fairly, you know, resilient now. Won't be losing moisture. And I'm going to go set it over around the corner in a spot where it'll get about 50% eh, sun. I've got a little spot over there with some lattice work that'll shade it. So, in general, you've got your three cuts that you would make on a three flap. And if those buds are going to cooperate, you can take three slices down. And you've made a stick where the flaps and the slices like so the flap will cover that removed area you peel that back you cut the wood out of it and then you've got the three empties you stick that in there and wrap her up put a little glue on it that is a three flap or in this case a two flap graft usually pretty successful you've got a lot of area there for the cambium to make contact so that's my little video for today and uh, thank you for watching.